Today I am talking about hot tooth. Many clinicians have this in their mind that if you have given 2-3 nerve blocks and still a mandible molar pulp doesn't get anesthetized, it is a hot tooth. But these all can be the failed attempts to achieve the desired anesthesia. So to differentiate between the hot tooth and inadequate anesthesia, you need to understand about progression of pulp inflammation a little. As we all know that there are two types of nerve fibers in pulp that is A delta fibers and C fibers. The outer layer of pulp, especially pulpal horn and top part of pulp, it contains A delta fibers which transmits cold sensation while inner core layer of C fiber transmits heat sensation. So when A delta fibers are inflamed, they become oversensitive to cold and in same way C fibers become sensitive to heat and leads to severe pain. Now as A delta fibers are at periphery, they will get inflamed first from any stimuli like bacteria, from caries or their toxins. So when pulp inflammation starts, first cold sensation aggravates. Then if no treatment provided, inflammation reaches to C fibers in the core and tooth becomes sensitive to both hot and cold as A delta fibers are still inflamed. So now pulp fails to withstand the persistent inflammation and the degeneration start. And in same way, first A delta fiber get necros and at this point, there will be no cold sensation but because C fiber are still inflamed, so patient complains of only heat sensation. Further progression of necrosis leads to complete degeneration except a little apical stump. At this stage, when patient takes anything hot, it leads to severe pain because necrosis tissue produce gases and expand in tooth. If patient takes anything cold, it relieves the pain by reducing the expansion of gases. So this condition is diagnosed as hot tooth and these cases are difficult to anesthetize. So if you open a tooth and found profound bleeding from pulp, they cannot be hot tooth. Rather, if you are facing issues in these kind of cases, this is because of inadequate anesthesia. In hot tooth, profound bleeding is not expected. So while treating a mandibular molar, first give an inferior alveolar nerve block and wait for 5 to 10 minutes. Ask patient about signs of anesthesia like heaviness in lip and tongue. If it is there, then check efficacy of anesthesia clinically by running probes slowly at the curious portion of tooth or compare the tooth tenderness by finger pressure before and after anesthesia. Some clinicians check it by pricking the interdental gingiva also. If you are satisfied with clinical signs of anesthesia, then you can directly start the treatment. And if you are not satisfied, then wait for a while or you can give another block. During the excess opening, if patient complains of pain, this is because of severely inflamed pulp. Inflamed pulp need more amount of time and more anesthetic solution to get anesthetized. So if you have achieved proper signs of anesthesia in lip, tongue and gingival tissue, still there can be need of another block for inflamed pulp. Even after giving another block and waiting for a long time like 15 to 30 minutes, pain is still there, then that can be the case of hot tooth, which is usually very rare. In these cases, ask patient to take an inflammatory drug like brufen and wait for an hour before starting the treatment. Sometimes it happened to me that I struggled to achieve adequate anesthesia during treatment but finally when treatment is complete, patient is leaving the dental operatory, then he or she used to say that yes, now my lip is very heavy like a rock. That means sometimes it takes an hour to achieve complete anesthesia. Other things which can help to attain adequate anesthesia are supplement injections like intrapulpal or intraligamentary injections. Yes, they help a little but giving some time to block to become more effective works better. Literature says that articane 4% is very effective but it is difficult to get and yeah costly too. Another thing is I have never come across a situation when I missed having it in my clinic. So in same way intraosseous injection can also be effective but again very cumbersome. So take home message is work on your technique of delivering injection and be patient while treating a hot tooth and give some more time to knob lock to become effective.